my job is in film is illustrator. But what that really means is you're a concept designer. So I'm a concept designer in entertainment, specifically film, which means I read the script. I'm given the task of designing a vehicle, a costume, a character, a monster, a set. And you draw it, paint it, sculpt it in certain cases, and work with either production designer or the director themselves. And because I do so much stuff that is post-production related, I usually end up working with the visual effects house that's doing the, the actual post-production work. My resume that I think most people would recognize, obviously Avatar, Cloverfield, then after Cloverfield, Star Trek, and then Piranha 3D, Green Lantern, uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, there's a lot of productions that start and then stop, uh, Tron, uh, Super 8, and most recently Ridley Scott's Prometheus. I think that the reason I'm desired on certain productions is it's something I've been told by different directors. I tend to be very thorough about the core concept, uh, what the character's motivations are. So as opposed to designing something that just looks menacing, the byproduct in the end, the net result is that it has to be that way. But for me to get there, I like to understand why it's pissed off, why it's aggressive, or why it's sentient. Um, I'd like to understand if it is huge, how physiologically it could support its own weight. If it's um, a Super 8, the creature is, is an underground creature, it, it's subterranean. So if it is that, why? What is the motivation? Is it subterranean on its planet, or is it now subterranean on this planet just for the purposes of of being discreet, and I like to think through all of that. I think about it in terms of an industrial designer developing a consumer product, which is why when you look at Tron, for example, Tron might seem a bit incongruous to the work that I've done, but if anything, Tron is more my wheelhouse because I'm a trained industrial designer. I work professionally developing automotive products, medical products, sporting goods, including helmets, so that when I was doing creature work, specifically on Avatar, I applied all the same methodology of industrial design to creature, which is form follows function. Um, you have to be mindful of the physics of the engineering behind something, because the Navi rode the Banshee, so you have to think about center of gravity, you have to think about flight, um, wing length, cord length, all those things, and what's great is James Cameron totally supports and demands that you're that smart about it. I wish I could say more about Prometheus because I'm so excited. Having worked with Ridley Scott in any capacity is such an amazing thing, kind of like one of the best things ever for me. Just being in the same room with somebody who I consider a god in the genre of film that I like so much, but he, he's, he doesn't just do sci-fi, obviously, he's done many types of films. But literally sitting in the room with him, talking about the possibility of a prequel to Alien was just unbelievable. Now it's changed and it's turned into Prometheus, um, which is why I'm elusive about what the story is, what it's about, is it Alien, is, is Geiger involved? A lot of the stuff I simply don't know. Um, I wish I did. I wish I did, but I just don't actually. I'll throw you a curveball because the assumption is that I'm designing characters and creatures on um, Prometheus. When in fact on Tron, the same question came up, it was like, you're working on Tron, I had no idea there were creatures in Tron. I'm like, well, wait until you see. And I wasn't, I was designing costumes and props. So Prometheus, who knows what I'm doing?